The lawyer, David Enright, is a partner at uh, Howe & Co Solicitors, are representing over 200 individual sub-postmasters and their families whose lives have been affected by this scandal. David, uh, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you. How significant is the development today? Is it what the families you represent mm -hmm. have been waiting for? Well, we represent uh, almost 300 postmasters across England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. And I've almost uh, worn a groove in your sofa coming on here to talk about this announcement. We've had it three times since the 9th of January. Now, Kevin Hollingway has a good reputation as someone who's wanting to drive things through. But uh, he's not on his own in this. Um, he did, I must call him out, he, he said the government was acting very swiftly. But that, that can't be right, because this scandal has been going on for 26 years. I myself and my firm have been working on this since 2012. Uh, people can't live on hope. Um, they hope to enact legislation uh, by July, uh, but we've had these false dawns many, many times. Uh, I've been receiving messages and calls from right across the United Kingdom, uh, including from people in Northern Ireland and Scotland who will not benefit from any of this. Now, this is a national scandal, and we need a national response. OK, so but just park that, the, the national debate in terms of what Kevin Hollerake uh, and his department are announcing today and what he came on to, to announce. What is new in that? Or, or do you think none of it's new? Um, a part of it is not new, in that um, Rishi Sunak announced this on the 9th of uh, January, and we heard it again from Kevin on the 23rd of uh, February. Uh, the government are proposing this truly unprecedented step in parliamentary and legal history to quash uh, 983 convictions. Uh, they, they hope to enact this by July, um, but we can't eat hope. Uh, so, and as Kevin said, you can't get any compensation until you are identified, vindicated and compensated. Now, what are we going to do for the very many people who died waiting, the people who died with their mm -hmm. reputation sullied? For example, a client of mine, Peter Holmes, a police officer who went on in retirement to be a, a postmaster, he died five years before his conviction was quashed. So there are Peters and Patricias right across the United Kingdom we need to identify their families, their widows, their widowers, and tell them that your loved one was innocent. You, I couldn't. I mean, that, I couldn't agree more in, in terms of those uh, details and those individual examples. In, in terms of your hopes and expectations for when, for the other vast majority of the 300 people you represent, a, a line will be drawn under this. Is that elevated today? Do you have a date in mind off the back of this announcement, or is it the same as? we were last week. Mm -hmm. well, there's two points there. First of all, you can't draw a line under um, having lost, say, 20 years of your life. No. Uh, secondly, uh, of course, we want this to happen as quickly as possible. As Alan Bates said, get on and do it. Get on and do it. So we've had the announcement today. Um, the government appear to be laying legislation before Parliament uh, today. It will still have to have three readings in the House of Commons, three readings in the House of Lords, plus the committee stages. So we're a long way from done. So you, all of us, need to keep on top of the government and drive this through to get justice for these decent people. No, no doubt about that. And the parliamentary process is, is slow, as we know, for, for, for lots of things. You said it's a sort of pretty seminal piece of legislation to overturn things, so it has to go through those processes. It, if this does all pass, though, and by uh, the summertime it, it, is, it is a law, is that a moment of relative to the fact that you can't get 20 years back of relative celebration for your clients that they've been waiting for? Well, you see, we've had an awful lot of false dawns. Uh, and the devil, or indeed some, sometimes people say God, is in the detail. We want to know what the fine detail is. How will this actually work? How will we identify these people who are in every single community across England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland to get their cases quashed and then to move them swiftly towards compensation? so they can move on with their lives. I want to know the detail. 